one owner car guy one owner car guy.com and what I got here for you today is a beautiful 1992 Mercedes-Benz 500 SEL and if you watch this channel much you know that I absolutely love these W140 cars these cars were plus or minus a hundred grand well up into the 120s for some of them and they are an absolute masterpiece of engineering and work and you know they're great cars um, sometimes you'll have a window regulator go out you'll have this go out or have a bad this or a bad that you know I found they're really cheap to work on you can compare them to working on a Honda Accord or something they're usually cheaper to work on um, just having a good mechanic that can do it is the main thing I mean let's face it it's what a 22 year old car now you know normal maintenance and things are going to go out on them um, I do my best to get the best one, two, and three owner cars, and I just kind of get the ones that are the cleanest and nicest and kind of go from there. This is a beautiful car. It appears to have been very well maintained. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the underneath and do another walk around up close here and tell you what I got. Um, there is a crack in this piece, by the way, and it's kind of got a uh, wire tie thing, zip tie in there, I think. And a little crunch right there. And I've got one of these, but the clips are broken here and it just won't stay in there. I do not have the other one. And you can buy them on eBay. It's the tow hook covers. It's still got the plastic piece under. So it's hard to see much anything, but it's clean. Um, I love this light silver on the bottom. I'll go around and show you any scuffs, dings, damages, stuff like that in a second. Um, first thing I like to do is show people the underneath and how clean they are under here. Look at that tranny pan. Just nice and clean under here. So, that's that. Falcon. Tires, little titties on the side, everything. Now I'm about to split this video up. God, he just put them on it, man. Look at that tread. My God, there's 90% tread on them tires. I'd say 85 to 90%. Um, so that's kind of your once around and you're underneath and all that. I'm gonna go ahead and go around it and show you any minor damages up close. Um, just little things, not much to talk about. It's absolutely beautiful. Actually, I'm gonna get in the car and move it here, most likely, if we've got people that need to be leaving. We shall see. Are they lost? I don't know if they're lost. Kinda. They're having a party, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually they're both going inside different way. You know what? Let's do a test drive and come back. We'll just do that. Actually, she's going right up right now, so we're gonna go ahead and finish looking at the car. That'd just be the way I want to do it. Sorry about that. Just how it goes sometimes. Just how it goes sometimes. Got to stay out of people's way. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay, starting at the front. I don't like that. Just a little teeny smudge. Um, got going down the sides as straight as can be. There's gotta be a ding somewhere. God, look at that. There's a teeny one right there maybe, tiny. Same thing right there, tiny ding. Who is that? There's a ding right here. And on the back, there's a ding. And ooh, there's a little scuff right there. Lights across the back are great. A couple scuffs on the bumper. Like right here. Right here. Right here. Right there. Right there. Right there. I try to show everything. I'm very picky on this stuff. I want you to see, you know what, and that's just out of line. Just a tad bit, now I'm smudging it up. But you can see that that one should be out. So, once around, twice around. Oh yeah, and the door closer sucker things. That all works. This hood is just slightly out of adjust. Um, it's all factory paint everything, it looks like, everywhere. Um, it's just beautiful. Kind of got a light metallic in that. Slight crack here. 
I don't see where it's been painted. I'll pop the hood and show you everything up close and such also. We'll go from there, this ought to be interesting. There is a, nope, there's a ding here and a ding. Nope, that's the only one. And there is a small ding here. Tiny scuff there and there. And a little chip right here. And that is that. They want to know if anything happened. Except I remembered this piece here. Look like that. And I wanted to show you that up front. Up close, I mean. Okay. Top is beautiful. And that's your sunny walk around. I'm gonna do a shady walk around later. Show you that. And you know I'm gonna look at these wheels closer too when I get up at the house. In fact, I'll come up close on them right now. Really clean. This one has a little piece curb rash on it. And I've seen a piece on the grill. Very clean, a little bit of corrosion. Not corrosion, but starting to, the coating maybe has something in it there. That's just not wiped clean enough. They're in great shape. Look at that. That'll wipe off most of it. Okay, well, one owner car guy, one owner car guy.com. And it was this I seen on the grill right here. And this scuff here is the other one that I seen. Well, that's it. I don't know of anything else on it. And we're gonna take off and head down the road. I wanna show you that. How they do that right in that piece. If I can get that fixed, that side's not doing it. And we're gonna head down the road before we worry our neighbors anymore. Okay, AC is nice and cold, and you're gonna to have to listen to it. Actually, you're not right now, hang on. It's got a little bit of a, watch. They don't do it there. Sometimes it just takes a second, oh, oh mm -hmm. just a little bit of a cold running or something. Um, maybe starting to have a little bit of plugging on one of the cats or something, but kind of a burp in it sometimes and maybe it just ain't been driven enough. Because as you can tell, it gets down just like it should. I'm gonna slow it way down here. Ice cold AC and I'm sweating now because I don't have it on. Hang on. That's it, man. That's all you can give it is just a real quick, you got a belt squeal just a tiny bit there. Car because I let off <laughs> and didn't want to keep going. Uh, it is playing down fast. Um, in fact, I'm going to roll the window down. You heard a little bit of a um there when it shifted. Just almost misses just a teeny bit. My buddy says, man, the cat's getting a little plugged maybe or a muffler. I don't know. I don't notice it doing very much of anything because I'm not usually driving it like that getting on it. But on these test drives, I do give it a little bit of extra pizzoodle for you. I was right outside the power band on that one which is right around 32 miles an hour or so, I think. We're gonna have to get this AC back on though. Let's slow it down to about 20 here. Man, this thing is ultra powerful. 
It's back on with that here uh, AC though, because it is definitely a warm day, and that AC feels awfully nice. At least I got a cold sweat now, right? Watch out, this thing traction active. The little button came on. <laughs> Well, one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Hope you can hear me over the AC. If you can't, well, I need AC right now, okay? Very smooth driving truck, truck, car. Um, and that's that. Oh, even the, the middle mirror works, and I'll show you that when we go over options. I love these W140s, and very good, very reliable cars. Um, you'll sometimes have problems with like window regulators, uh, switches, um, electrical stuff like that. Um, regulators and such are very cheap, um, easy to uh, do them yourself usually. Um, and they're very, very simple to work on. It is a hundred and something, or 98 today out here. It is warm. And the AC is cold. It feels good. Uh, I don't know if it could be a little colder. I doubt it. It's pretty darn cold. These older ones sometimes aren't as cold as a brand new car. But man, this thing is cold. I just noticed that. Look at that. I don't know what that's doing. It's still going too. Now it's going the other way. It's like it's reading like a speedo or something. I don't know. That was odd. It's still going. Now it's up at 96, 101, 105. So I'm going to say that the digital thermometer don't work. I don't think it is. Uh-oh. Move, reader. Move! Move! Reader! Come here! Good girl! Good girl. No, no, no. Come over here. Good girl. Okay. She um, really misses me when I um, go do these reviews. Okay. That's your test drive. And I will go ahead and show you the inside now and kind of go over that. Door panels are in great shape. Um, you got these flip down things here. And your seat, back, forward, up in the front, down in the front, down in the back, up in the back, the slide out, the slide out, and this piece, up and back, this one, buzzer annoying you yet? Come on now. I was trying to turn it on. Yeah, exactly. Because um, I thought that that wasn't analog. Um, okay. Let me show you this. It's got the sticker there. 90. This one? Um, rare for them to work. Most people grab them and twist them. This is that piece that always comes down and it's kind of stuck up there with a little piece of extra sticky stuff. So that's just how that is. And I will, you know, I bet you there's a little clip or something on it, just slightly broken. And it probably had something wedged in there to hold it. Um, in. 
out, down, up, and let's put this key in here. Out, in, down, up. And put all the lights come on like they should with the dummy type thing. Um, radio comes on, says it needs the code. And I'm gonna look in the trunk right now. Got your auto check here. Got the console in the middle with the storage. Fader for the stereo, heated seats. Oh, the headrests, I'll do them for you. Okay. Carpets are in great shape. I don't have the floor mats. Hardly anywhere on the pedals. And. Other than that. Oh. The, does that work? How do I do that? Hang on. I never use that. I think it's working. It feels like it pumping up there. Tell you what, that AC feels good. That's all there is to it. Woo, that AC feels good. I don't want to go nowhere now. I really don't. No joke. <laughs> um, okay. I love this color of this stuff and I just got my sweaty arm all over it there closing it. It is hot sitting in these on a day like this doing it with no AC going. Carpets are in good shape. Seats are in good shape. Now I didn't shampoo them or nothing. We gave them a good vacuum and all. See, you could get some of that stuff off shampooing them. But they're in great shape. Beautiful. Here's your extra cup holders and stuff in the center console. No medical kit. And I'm gonna, oh wow. This one does have all the options, don't it? Hang on a sec here. I'll go to the other side and we'll work that out for you. <clears throat> okay, somehow or another here, I'm missing my books. Spare tire kit, wrench, the whole deal. I don't, that ain't even been on the road, man. I don't think so. Pirelli. Becker Silverstone. This must be aftermarket. I'll try it with the... Um... Ah, here comes another one if you're watching this. There you go. Now, there's an odd one. We do love our Mercedes-Benz, that's for sure. And he likes that one, even though a lot of people are going to say, my God, he ruined it. It's all bolt-on, and he used to drive a power stroke everywhere. Get 11 miles a gallon. I always think I'm going to find gold coins in there or something. Huh. I sure wish I had this book. Oh, he put it in the glove box, almost guaranteed. It says three owner out of 15 to 36, score to 75 on the auto check here. Um, and see, that's why he believed um, that it failed an emission in 2012 passed though in 2012 also just like eight days later so that's all good and all the times before that they renewed and passed just fine so that's what i know and the mileage all checks out 122 is on here 125 is on the car i didn't drive it much that's for sure um 
I'll put this back here to where you've got it. It's hidden now. Okay, let me do this. It's on Celsius right now. You can actually push this button and it changes. Oh, that feels good again. <laughs> okay. Also, I didn't show you that the maintenance booklet's filled out to up to 97.5. Free delivery inspection. They got them all in here, but. I have some pre, pre delivery on. So they've got lots and lots of them done. And let me flip through this real quick. Beautiful. Okay, well, oneownercarguy.com. Here's your books again. Got the little cup holder, change holder here. Um, that light bulb must be out. Oh, feels good. Hey, that's why I wasn't getting none from over here. It was pointed away. Okay. While that's up, let me show you this seat. Down in the front. Up in the front. Forward. Backward. Down in the back. Up in the back. Uh, seat in. Seat out. Back, up, and back. Headrest. Up and down. Awesome, huh? Hard to get it with everything that good, that's for sure. Um, someone, a couple of someone's has taken care of this thing. Um, the back seat. There's that one. And you can put them down really easy too. But you just pull that button up for that. Now the back seat. Okay, that one flipped it up right there. Um, that one puts it down. I know you weren't looking at it, but the big one puts it up and the small one puts it down. Let's see this one. Okay, that side isn't doing it. Okay, the front thing is supposed to... Okay. Turn it on. Try it again. They're not working by the front switch. So... Oh, there's the back seat working. There we go. Ah, uh, there's that one. Could be a little intermittent. <laughs> Comfortable though. Let's see, let's close this up. There we go. That's adjustable too. And then from there, the back. This switch isn't moving the back. Oh, that's the one. No, that's the rear heated seats. Windows. But I'm wanting this back to work. Same thing, let's try this again. <laughs> Figure I'd take that out just in case. There we go. Now isn't that odd? Now did it have something to do with me turning it on and off? I really don't know.
and does it work with these up? I really don't know that either. Now I can tell you the one thing on this side is this piece is getting just a little stuck right there. And that is causing that side not to want to go up all the time. Okay, I rolled that window down too, by the way. So the back switch works there. There we go. And now this switch on my side is working fine too. Oops, I'm sorry. So, got it all working. In fact, after a couple times of that, this piece is flipped out how it's supposed to be, but it's just a little loose. And I believe you may find yourself. Yeah, see that one's tighter? There's a clip or something that's came off. It's allowing that to be a little looser. Huh. Extra one of them. Beautiful car. Okay. That's a couple minutes in the back seat for you there. And other than that, let's go ahead and show you the books which I have misplaced now. Show you under the hood. Which I'm gonna have to back up for. And we'll kind of go from there. The trunk's absolutely beautiful. Light, all working and such. Weather stripping, beautiful. Lots of sponge to it. Sponge? Yep, it's spongy. And I turned this on and left the trunk open to where we could see what would happen. Oh, it was up. Ha! Well, that will do it every time. And it is. There we go. Tin disc. Something like that. So that's all there. Now, let me get this here out. This thing had all the options, man. Gives you all your menus and charts. Hey, now. I always look in these, and all I have to do is call the dealer. There's your instruction card for it. But you just call the dealer and they'll give you the code. Um, there you go. 0254. Maybe we'll try that. Wow, this must have been the service directory for the year before that they were giving. Fuse designation. That's from the inside of the fuse box. Almost positive. Um, roadside assistance paper. God, this is a complete paper. I'm going to set this down a second. Sorry. This is a pretty complete packet, though. I guess was my point. And maintenance booklet. And your original thing here. Owner's manual. And a little bit coming out of the spine there in the middle. I want to protect that somehow. I'm gonna take this with me, try that out, and <laughs> so many papers, seriously. Okay, there we go. Now I gotta get a picture of this too. Okay, man, it's turned into a long deal here. Um, I'm gonna leave that like that. I'm gonna try entering that code. Ooh, that sucked in, that sucked down. It's got the prods that come up in reverse. And I'll try and show you that as well. Oh, it's nice in here. I got the hood open. There they are. You can see them over there. Just another one antenna looking thing. 
And I came out just enough to where hopefully will be the right amount of sun and the right amount of shade to see under that um, hood there. Beautiful 500. Whoa, look at that, man, beautiful. That is in great shape, man. I ran out of room for my thing to record. It won't record that long. It's in great shape, a little crack in the plastic cover there. And here, a little chunk out of that. And man, the hose is looking good shape. The belt looks replaced recently. Yeah, it looks like I have a pretty fresh belt on it. It's beautiful under here. Well, one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. You can reach me absolutely anytime. I'm gonna go ahead and actually back this up and get you saying goodbye in the driveway here to where I can make it look nice in my outro. It's hard to get out of here though, from where I am. When we get blocked in like this, we don't want to have W140 on W140 crime here. And a subscriber mentioned, man, you haven't done any W124s or W123s or W140s in a while. Well, I have had some different stuff up. Uh, I haven't been able to do what I truly like a lot of times uh, as much, but I do like a lot of different things too. So let's try this here. 0254. Recoding. Transition key to lock position one. Lock position one. Turn the radio to where code appears. Actually. Let's do that over. Take the key out. To where we know we're doing it right. Lock position one. Then we'll turn the radio on to where code appears. O, two, five, four. There we go. You know, let's start this up now. And that happens anytime your battery goes um, dead. It goes off. You know, the code is working now. So, it's all definitely working except I can't get the volume. Oh, there we go. Woo! See, I can't get that volume. That works. I can't get that volume to work. And I'm sure it's just touching. Because we had it working and the battery went dead. Okay, well, that's the deal. I'm done with it right now. I want to show you the wheel working. Up, down, in, out. I think I've shown you everything. Except for one last thing that I can remember here. That's these, which when they're not used a lot, these connections, they kind of flicker like that sometimes. But they're all working. And I'll show you in the back really quick. And yeah, this is going to be a long video, isn't it? Maybe I'll do a night one separate. I mean, this is gonna be like 34 minutes or something like just right now. 
One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com, W140. Beautiful car. You can call me anytime. Nathan, 406 544 6919. Just to kind of give you an add in here, it really seems to shift great and drive great. A um, little hesitation when you click it down and drive, just a teeny, like a lot of these do. Um, you know, this thing is broken. It doesn't latch. I wanted to show you that. Yeah, it is a beautiful day here. CD changer, 10 disc or something like that. Um, maintenance manual is filled out to 97,000. See, it goes on and then right into gear. I don't know if it's a sensor or something to that effect, but that's what it does and I'm just pretty upfront about all my stuff like this and man it's it's a nice driver I don't feel like there's anything wrong with it but just kind of telling you how it drives now they've just put this area in super cool it's a lot um, shadier, like right here. I think I can kind of move it in here. I like it down here. I like it down here a lot. A lot. They've got it all marked out different now. And we are definitely out of the shade, or out of the sun, is what I meant there. That's my palm. And I am going to go ahead and get out and show you around this bad boy real quick. I'm taking another night video here. 125 on it. I got books all over the back seat. Look at there, they go. Huh? Got to show you them. I like them things. All these books, man. Oh beautiful car. I'm going to show you kind of a once around on the outside. And I already stacked these once for you. So I'm just going to show you this. All kinds of service records up to the 97.5 one. And that's that. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do a quick walk around and I'll just go ahead and kind of put that back together there later for the next video. Beautiful car. That's all there is to it. W140, baby. Gets no prettier. And that's what I'm going to do here for this video is kind of clip it all together. And then I'm going to make kind of a different one for a night video. And we'll see what we come out with here. Um, I do love these W140s. These are awesome cars. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. I'm going to check out rear taillight. There's a bulb out. It's like a double, triple bulb thing and one of them's out. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And... Nathan, 406-544-6919. Absolutely beautiful car. And that's that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Give me a call if I can help you on anything. Goodbye. One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And I really don't know how I'm uploading this one. I did a day video, showed a little bit of night on the day video. And now I'm here and I was gonna do the night video and I was like, well, I kind of did a night video. So I'm gonna do a two video thing on this. It's a 92 Mercedes-Benz 500 SEL. I absolutely love these W140 body style cars. And I'm gonna do just kind of a review of the car and show you what's up. There ain't much to talk about as far as damage on it. There's a few scuffs and dings and I might show you some of them in a quick form as we go around this. And I'm just kind of maybe doing a new different way of doing a second video that somebody can look at and check things out. I mean, a lot of the stuff that I show is pretty insignificant, but it is damage. Like the ding or a little scuff that he touched up and came off and just little chips on the bumpers or little scratches. That's the kind of things I show. There's a ding here, you know? That's the worst of it on this car. There's one more place I would say is not good where that little paint's coming off the jack hole cover on the other side. But it's in great shape. It's got a nice 
um, 85 to 95 percent uh, tread instead of Falcon tires. I'm missing the tow hooks, no the tow hooks, tow hook covers as you can see them two holes. You can buy them on the internet rather inexpensively. I love it in the white, that's what she said, with the gray down below. God, it's with the silver tint on the windows, beautiful car. Um, these cars are about as nice as they get. Check out the Wikipedia on them. You just won't believe what they put into these cars. Insignificant little ding here or there. Just to kind of give you a look going down it though. And this is different than my normal video. And that's kind of what I'm looking for though. There's something different. Just give you some different views. Now any of these cars are old and you're going to work on them at some point. Um, window regulators, power steering pumps, fuel pumps, um, electric switches and sensors and relays and who knows. Um, lots of stuff that's easy to find on the internet, on YouTube, that you can do by yourself, which is a neat thing about these. Now I've walked around this thing a couple times. Ooh, clean looking. Little LTV, <laughs> LTV, Crown Victoria. All the books on this thing, man. We got the toolkit with this one also. Oh, this is a cool brochure too. Tells you all about it. A little service wagon back in the day was cool. Has all kinds of cool pictures. Oh, 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 oh. I like these cars a lot. Although the sign and drive service is described in this brochure to provide it free of charge, the roadside distance repairs fees will fall $25. Huh. That's if they pick you up. I was going to show you. Toolkit still got most of the tools. You know, it's hard to remember everything when you're doing these walk-arounds and reviews. And I'll leave that for now. Um, I showed the entire back seat and the re some of these have the recliners. Um, this one does. Yeah, you gotta have the... It depends on if the key's in, too. That's what the happens with these. Um, if the key's in, it's one thing. If it's in and it's on, like when you turn it off, it's still kind of on until you pull it. Put it back in, the buzzer don't come off. I'll show you that again. So that's how your power works on this. Oh. I showed you all this stuff. You know what? Here we go. So yes, they do work. And I think to get out, just open it in these. Pretty sure. Okay. They're nice cars. I'm gonna pop this one here. And I'll show you in the back. Like I was gonna, they got plenty of room in the back. And all like that, the seat reclines. Oh yeah, that one thing stuck over there. Right there, oh, it just clicks when it goes back. Beautiful car. Oh yeah, watch this. Maybe you don't know this. Maybe you do. Ha! Ah, I pulled on it when I was doing it. I love this kind of anodized thing here with these silver, light silver tint and the white with the gray. Oh man! I'm gonna pop this for you here real quick. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Work of art. Yeah, I'm that motor. Yeah, 
Well, that's the deal. I'm trying to think what else to show in one like this, besides just kind of going around it and showing it at night. And then besides that, I'd like to drive it again. I'm gonna go get a rock star. It's getting late and I gotta get some work done. Look at the peelage right there. Underneath this car, as clean as can be. Check the other video for that. Um, you'll see the, the complete review on there. I absolutely love these cars. Um, I will think I will always have one of these. It's the only, it's the only way I see me, me is with one of these cars. As cheap as they are too, they're just true value. Now that's true value. Okay, let's go drive this bad boy. Now I don't have the sensor key. What have you? Fob key. Heated seats. Front and back, by the way. These cars were ninety to one hundred twenty-six thousand dollars, or something like that. We're talking an insane amount of money. Oh man! See, now I, I don't think there's a dang thing wrong with this car. Uh, and it's just, it's not been driven a lot. I, I, I'm wanting to keep it. That's what I'm wanting here. See, then you get that little skip like that, where it's just not feeling like it should. And it ain't kerplunking or nothing, but it is definitely a different kind of deal. But it's once every, maybe once or twice every time you drive it. Like right now, it's right where it should be. I want to start just flooring it right now. Well, I always get stuck at lights like this, it seems. Um, AC and stuff everywhere. This don't go down on it. Memory on the seats and all. Um, radio works. Ashtray. They don't even have them in cars anymore. I don't think. These seats are in great shape. See, I can put it down and just goes. And I was gonna check it and see if it's just a tad bit low. Listening to your Walkman, you're not even paying attention. Amazing. Well, I'm gonna end this here. Say good night. Oh man. One owner car guy. One owner car guy .com. And other than that, I'm gonna go around and check out one more thing and leave the sunroof open this time. Actually, perfect. Okay, now I'll show you from the inside. We'll call it good. One owner car guy, one owner car guy dot com. Oh, the hood is just out of alignment, just a teensy bit. And you can't see it from back, you can't really tell, but it is the way it is. And I want to be completely upfront about any of that. Well, one owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. I'm going to give me a rock star and I'm saying goodbye to you. So check out my website, website, like, comment, subscribe, share, make sure and check out my other uh, websites and stuff, beaglespocket.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Had to show the sunroof. I didn't know if I did and it works and all. And not only that, look how clean this bad boy is. Figured I'd pop it to you again to where you could see.
see it again because it's just absolutely beautiful. Wood liner and everything, as nice as it gets. That's going to make sure that you've seen all the interior the way you should on this. Little piece right there, and I can get this replaced for if you want. That can be restitched also. My buddy says, put a little dab of silicone right there. He's right. That would fix it. Um, that is just from being up against there. We didn't detail that because we didn't open it. And that is that. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, oneownercarguy.com. Will I do it right here? Sure I will. Free car? Yep. We'll talk to you.